We've all gotten used to Britain's disruptive weather, but for many in the southwest, after months of rain, this has become an all too familiar struggle, forcing some to evacuate their homes, and all this days before Christmas. It started raining on Friday night, and it hasn't really stopped since. 40 to 50 millimetres fell in less than 12 hours, falling on already saturated grounds. The River Cobra burst its banks overnight, which has led to the water coming through people's gardens and onto the streets St John's Roads here in Helston. Up to a dozen homes have been flooded, with more than 50 to 60 others in danger. People using sandbags, others wading through the water, and some cars have been abandoned. With more rain expected later today, people are expecting the worst. Those who live here can only really watch and wait with the few defences they have. I'm just here helping my mate. We're going to be taking his carpets up now in case it goes up a bit higher. I don't really know what to do. As long as we stay all right at our car, I'm not worried about the inside. They can be replaced. They can be replaced, yeah. The Cornish Fire Service responded to hundreds of calls in the last 24 hours and using specialist pumping equipment to redirect water. But it's the sheer number of incidents that's put them under great pressure. We are very stretched today. We've got numerous incidents throughout the county currently um, going on, which is really stretching our resources. Um, we've had crews working tremendously hard through, right through the night here. They're going to be here tonight as well. Transport in the region has been severely affected, with train companies advising customers not to travel. It's also closed roads and bridges, which are struggling under the pressure of swollen rivers. And this days before Christmas. Braunton is normally a bustling market town. Today it was anything but, forcing local traders to do all they can to stay open. Well, it's been horrendous. The trouble is, we cope with the flood water, but we had no electricity. There was nothing we could do. We got no scales, no till, we couldn't see to cut anything. We were off for three and a half hours. It's a dangerous time when you've got knives but no electricity. More rain is expected this evening leading to another anxious night. But here in Helston and elsewhere, not even the rain can dampen the festive spirits.